Okay, right. Assalamualaikum. And good afternoon. So let us begin. Uh, let's have a little bit of revisit. Before I go how to draw with lawn, how to draw exponent graph. What do you know about EX? Exponent. Do something like this, okay? Right, this one need to go down and it's getting near to zero. Near but never touch. What do you call this line? Horizontal asymptote. What's the value of horizontal asymptote? Minus one marks. X equals to zero, minus one marks. Y equals to zero. Why Y equals to zero, sir? Because here Y is zero, here's Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, and so on. Right, remember this one. Horizontal asymptote, Y equals to zero. If you just write down zero, minus one marks. If you write down X equals to zero, minus one marks. For you to get full marks there, Y equals to zero. Okay, you need to draw things like this. Okay? You need to draw it like that. There is one more thing that you need to take precaution of. What is the value of x here? Zero. x equals to 0. You need to check what happened at x equals to 0. Okay, so e0 equals to 1. So here, 1. Alright? I'll zoom it a bit. Here is near. Yeah, things are too small there. But never touch. It's a friend zone. <laughs> Just getting near, but you're never there. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 but what about this? If you, it, does, does the person never say to you, I, I like somebody like you, but not you? What does it mean? Well, what kind of zone is that? In the example zone. <laughs> okay, what about this one? Someone asked me this last time, Sir, how do you draw this? It follow the same example. 2e to x, hey, we're still here. Does the person get full marks? Why not? Yeah, fine. You can boot X and Y. Mr. Kiasu there. What else did the person miss? Well, the asymptote is there. It's five stage much fine. But yeah, you can add. The asymptote is? Y equals to? What does the person miss? What else? Yes, the Y intercept. How do you calculate this Y intercept? Is it equals to 1? Why not one? This is one. Just now it's one, not a problem. How you get two? What's the value here? X equals to what? So, add X equals to zero. Two E, well, two X zero. Two, one. <laughs> be careful, two times one. So we got here two. All right, be careful with that. Okay, one more time. So the graph, oh, this is slightly wrong. If I were to draw again, it go higher, faster. It goes higher, faster, and just getting near to, getting near to zero. You call this as the horizontal asymptote. Okay, that's a brief introduction again for your exponent. Okay, now going to your lawn. Okay, I prefer this one more. One more time, I'm stressing you pronounce this as lon x, not i n x. The graph looks something like this. Yes, it can be particular, so x and y. Alright, no problem with that. 
in this case it just got near it just get really near with zero here it's not horizontal this time so we call it as the vertical asymptote okay it just get near to this y-axis this here this value what do we call it what's the vertical this time is x equals to zero so yeah you can say x equals to zero here x equals to one x equals to one x equals to two x equals to three negative one negative x equals to negative one x equals to negative two so as you can see there a little bit horizontal asymptote you need to give y vertical asymptote you need to give x so be careful with this little trick of horizontal asymptote that means y equals to something vertical asymptote means x equals to something what happened if i abandon my y and x i just write down the numbers you got zero marks you don't get the marks and a little bit different from exponent this time it rise very slowly this one is just get near and then we can see it rise very slowly it doesn't suddenly goes up okay so be careful with the drawing and what else do we miss here you need to calculate that as if you calculate for uh, exponent there you need to calculate this cut here the x-intercept this value here is when yeah is zero x equals to one for long you need to memorize this part that ln one equals to zero ln zero equals to well error you can try with your calculator or the things that you are more familiar with maths error and you can ask again sir why is it maths error sir because it never touch All right it, it's never touch so you need to calculate for ln these two things ln one and ln zero and this you know i mean where is it okay let me give you one examples let's say we given something like this it's just coming from the top of my head you know let's make it a bit easier 2x minus 1 all right so how where should you draw the graph the first thing i'll do i'll do is i calculate the thing that i asked you to memorize just now that ln 1 Wrong color. Ln 1 equals to 0. Another one is? Ln 0 equals to? Next error. I'll calculate this one first. So I what I want is inside. Inside equals to 0. What's our inside? 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 equals to 0. x equals to? I would like to say half just now. It's the same thing. Can you see? Is it clear for you? I'll switch off one. Like. Ah, I forgot to say. Inside must not be equal to zero. Slight mistake there. Because if you got zero, you got max error. But it doesn't really matter as much what i want you to know what happened when x equals to half where is it it's here at this point here what happened if x half what happened we've got ln zero max error. error so it's your what vertical asymptote what's your vertical asymptote
Okay, so far still alive. Don't die. Today you can't die. I don't allow you to die. <laughs> you need to finish all the math studies. Don't die until then. If you die, you become a ghost. Don't come and haunt me. <laughs> this is a one Tamil movie. Okay, all right, let's continue. The other one over here, you need to calculate inside equals to 1. So 2x minus 1 equals to 1. So in this case, oh my goodness. Yeah, 2, 2, sorry, x1. Where is this x1? It's for the intercept. So technically what you're calculating, this is for intercept. And this is for the vertical asymptote. You need to calculate this too. If you don't calculate this too, I can help you. What do you need to calculate? Inside equals to 1. Inside equals to 0. Right? For the inside equals to 0, you want to calculate what? Vertical asymptote. For inside equals to 1, you want to calculate? Y-intercept. Oh, sorry, X intercept. My bad. I got used to it. So, we know here's the asymptote. We know here's the intercept. So, obviously, it's going that way. Okay, and please make it suddenly turn so it rises slowly. But never goes down. If you draw like this, then minus marks. If you draw slowly up, then... You got full marks. Okay? If you stop here the drawing, then we are undecided we minus your marks. You need to see suddenly curve and slow. So far, are you still alive? Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's go a little bit basics. Exponent graph, how again? EX, just normal EX. Getting near to zero and then cross here and then suddenly it rise up exponentially. EX. What about ln? Ln X. Here, getting near. Cut here and then slowly rise. What's the value here? What's the value here? This guy here, the horizontal asymptote is what? Y equals to zero. This guy here, vertical asymptote, x equals to zero. Sorry, I missed one thing. Please label your graph. If you don't label, you will lose your marks. And what can we say about these two graphs? They are inverse of each other. Yes, you can use the technique of flipping. I don't think it's that visible. You can do on yours. <laughs> Sorry, I should have prepared it. You can see that horizontal asymptote y equals to zero become this guy here, this guy become that guy here. They just switch around. And if I draw this, do I get full marks? What did I miss? What line? Y equals to x. Dot, dot, dot line because it's imaginary. The inverse line. Are you okay? A bit far depth for you. Uh, let's remember them again. So EX is like this. What about E negative EX? If negative outside, what? How does it influence? Up or down? 
If outside, it influence up or down. If inside, left or right. Come back. Okay. Can you see now? You know, you know I, 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 got, I got a nephew when we, you know Google, Google Map? They always tell you direction, turn left, turn right. And I, as I was approaching a junction, I said to the Google Map, Hey computer, tell me, which way should I go? I mean, I just time myself, okay, as we're getting near. And, said, and then the, the phone answer, turn left. Because we time it, alright? My nephew was like, oh, I was talking to you. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you do that? Ah, secret. <laughs> okay, so this one here, how does it react? You go down. Here is negative one. Here's one. Similarly, what about lawn X? Okay, here's one. Now what about negative ln x? Negative influence how? Outside. If outside influence? Up or down. So in this case? Up or down. You just mentioned that. Drawing is not my strongest point. <laughs> so here's a yeah, negative Lone X. You okay? Stay alive? Yeah. Now what about for E negative X? Left or right? Left. Okay. So your, what about ln negative x? It will influence how? Then left. So where's our ln x? This one, it becomes? Are you okay? And of course, finally, the hardest one of all, negative E, negative X, down here. Similarly, what about Negative law negative x. Negative here, it means the other way. Negat sorry, uh, negative outside, it means up or down. Negative inside, it means we flip. Yeah, you got that directly. That's not the best representation of drawing, sorry about that. So I'll try one of the examples. I don't think I need to. It's, it's very rare that as I'm going to give you negative graph. It's very rare. But let's try this one. How do you draw it? What will I calculate first? I want to calculate this one first. The edge intercept and the vertical asymptote. How do I calculate that one? I want to check when ln 1 equals to 0 
and the other one ln 0 equals to mass error how do I check that which one will I do first I do the zero one first so I'll calculate inside equals to zero so what's the inside 3 minus 2x equals to 0 and pretty much defined here you want to put the not equals to or not I don't really mind that much so you got yourself 2x3 x is 3 over 2 where's 3 over 2 over here this means what the error what asymptote? The vertical asymptote. Sorry. So the vertical asymptote is what? X equals to 3 over 2. Are you still alive? They say yes. Now what's the next thing I'll calculate? I'll calculate inside equals to 1, the other x intercept 3 minus 2x equals to 1 2x is 2 x is 1 did I do it wrong? ok so 1 is here oh. ok, there's no negative on outside if there's negative outside what does it mean there's a simple basics ln x is something like this if negative outside becomes something like that so we, we are not getting this kind of graph now so which way should we go here's your asymptote Here's your x intercept. And we are following this one here. So our graph will look something like this. Are you okay? And yes, please label them up. If you don't label what happened, you will lose all of those marks. All of them. This is five marks to graph, five marks loss. Okay, so that's the basic of how to draw the long graph.